everyone is struggling. Yeah, yeah. Making all the beliefs. Check out what's happening by way of weather. Chasing, you never and then we'll connect with you never say on the news to review. And then go on to have some sports action in between that Johnny's Bites community voices. And then we'll have that big exclusive with El Fri- El Fri- El Fri- and Crab. And then we'll also get into some Ian analytics. Check out what's happening. Who's winning? Who's losing? Last big big. <laughs> did, you, did you have sections in school? Section blue, section yellow, section red. Section Is that green. primary? Uh, yes. Um, mm. Section blue. Mm. I can't, to be honest, eh, a lot of things that happened mm. in primary, I don't remember. How would you remember? I can't remember. How would you remember? Um, <laughs> I'm sure, maybe some kind of section. Mm. Maybe. Well, what section were you in? Blue? Uh, no, yellow. Okay. I was in yellow. I think yellow. yellow. Okay. Normally, school. Section. We used to sweep um, under the tree. There were two giant trees in the mm. school. Okay. So that's our section. Okay. Section okay. Yellow. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 Blue used to sweep behind the washrooms, and then the red would sweep the main compound. Okay. And then green would sweep towards where class six and class five. Yeah, the way you remember distance, it'd be like they'd be bell boy for school. Eh? No, I was, I was a compound <laughs> prefect. Ah. <laughs> compound prefect, they are strict, oh. Yeah, I was. Hey. I was a compound prefect. Yeah, powerful think, more than a school prefect. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was. I went and I, I. I mean, all of my primary school life, I was class prefect for most of mm. you know my primary school life. I see. Um, leadership has always been with me. So, Next step, so, president. So we shouldn't be surprised when he become. He works in the AMA after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mother used to work in the AMA. Oh, oh, yeah. it's a heritage. But well, you get one to no compound prefect. Why you pick that thing? Over yeah, there? yeah. That, mm. that was that was me. You pick. <laughs> Pick it up. Yeah. Pick that thing. So, <laughs> so when we, when actually someone people for assembly, yeah, and then it's Friday and the place is dead, it's okay. We we'll give you three minutes, five minutes. Everybody go around, pick, mm. whatever it is. Mm. No, we keep the school tidy before we leave. I love that. Yeah, and, no, it, perfect. and it's beautiful how all these things imbibe in you the mm. sense of responsibility and these the likes. These you know? the children they go to school everywhere has been swept for them already. They're interesting. They don't sweep. And they, they pay people to sweep for them. Oh, but so the narrative fun. is actually different <laughs> in so Asian fun. countries, because mm. I've heard of stories where the students clean their classrooms mm-hmm. and the washrooms nobody does it for them we used to do that mm. you know back in primary school yeah you go to school early by now you'll be on your way to school by 7 30 classes are beginning mm. so you go you have your section you go and clean yeah and then you you sweep your classroom mm. and then you clean the chairs and the tables and then when you close from school you repeat the same thing before yeah. you come back in the morning i don't know what happens these days um I don't remember the last time any of my nephews or nieces told me that they were going to school to go and sweep somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe in the public schools, but yeah, in the private schools, I'm not too sure. Felicity, good morning. Good morning, Johnny. Did you used to sweep your school? Yes, it even one day got me into a big trouble. Yeah, what trouble was that? Yes. Uh, my house by then is close to the school. It's a community school. So one day, around this time, December, I was so happy that I decided to get to the school very early to sweep the whole compound. Mm, I see. So I was hoping that I will be uh, appreciated, but rather I was accused that I have uh, sold some books from the head oh. headmaster's uh, office. And not knowing mm. the previous night, some uh, people break into the store and what, then what a shock. some textbooks and things away. What a and shock. then when the, after everything was come to the limelight, they never called me to apologize or do anything. And I have to be off from school for mm. almost two weeks. On behalf of the school, we apologize. We apologize. We're, sorry, we are sorry. we are sorry. We are sorry. I'm sure you are better now today than you were that time. And on behalf of the government, we are sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> hey. Felicity, what's going to happen by way of weather today? Yes, uh, by way of weather, some may not be so happy with us because uh, gradually the rain is coming to a stop for 2024. So we are expecting it to be fair uh, today, uh, slightly hazy over most portions. Mm-hmm. Uh, the north, uh, we expect visibilities to drop drastically to less than 5,000 meters. Right. Uh, those in the transition will have uh, less than uh, 
10 kilometers uh, those over the southern sector greater Accra and it environs we will still be in 10 to 11 kilometers um in terms of rain uh, just some few portions in western western north is on our radar today for some rain activities temperatures will be hot and scorchy in terms of the sun uh, we expect it around 38 for the north, 35, 37 for mm. the transition and mm. most parts of the middle sector. Greater Accra, we are anticipating around 33 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius. For the state of the sea, we expect it to be calm, no much rain and thunder clouds. But then if Fisher Fox wants to navigate towards Gabon, that's uh, Libreville, towards uh, Cameroon, those areas, we are having some rain and thunderclouds over there, so they need to take the necessary precautions. Great. Felicity, thank you very much indeed for your time. We're grateful. Thank you. Great. This was before Done. Shatawale became Shatawale. Yeah. yeah. Johnny, before we enter the news yes, review, I'd like an opportunity to mm. greet my haters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey. The, uh, let, let me set the premise. Uh, yesterday we went to Asha Town mm -hmm. and we had an incredible engagement yeah. with the uh, fisher folk over right, there. Right. Dare I say my gun has even improved. But I digress. <laughs> there were many who thought that I wouldn't be up to date fit as a fiddle because I was eating a that claw. hot pepper and a claw. Mm. The naysayers. <laughs> the naysayers. Are you the, no, no, no. Frosty is. You know, when I, when I went and I told them that we should have a claw, mm. everyone was like, ah, well, yeah, we, to be honest, we told Mr. Hughes, mm, this mm. one, dear, we're not so sure with you, maybe that's the red, red. Eventually, maybe. they say, she am, she am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was sweet, oh. Nice. They're oh, fresh, a claw, they just boil it in, in mm. with the sea water yeah. against the freshly ground pepper, sliced yeah, onions, yeah. fresh king. Ah! Everything. I said, let me just do some one or two blows, but <laughs> after a while, I mean, it was a good recommendation. Cool. Look, at, look at how you're proudly announcing that you went to dirty yourself. Yeah, <laughs> publicly. If you saw the videos on social media, I mean, there was no shame in my game. I mean, <laughs> blow after blow after blow, a claw after kinky after pepper after onion. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Give it up to Mr. Higgs. What a recommendation. <laughs> Charlie, the Daily Statement this morning says uh, recovery of economy on course. Akufado declares, I thought they said we had turned the corner or, or we are still mm. struggling to turn the corner. I mean, now you don't know what to believe anymore. President mm. swears in five new envoys. GRA intercepts 40-foot container of ammunition at the port. Five new envoys. Eh, in the dying days of the government. Say that again. Five new envoys. Mm. In the dying days of the government. So how does their tenure go? When that, what's the expiration date? Or is that dependent on uh, what happens change, next? They'll recall you to uh, come back humbly. So at least you go, Kakra. Maybe yeah, you... Extra there. time. Play extra time. Okay. Yeah, NDC <laughs> plotting to disrupt <laughs> elections with vigilante groups, according to Henry Nana who is the MPP's national organizer. On the back page... GFA presents buses to nine football clubs, and somebody says the buses are old Dwadi buses. Uh, bigger cost of civil war drives Sudan's Afghan dream. Also, the political digest. It is possible to read authentic news. That's their tagline. Ayagba shrugs off NDC rigging allegation. Baumia touts Ghana's education successes. And Ewuku predicts 145 seats for the NPP. UPSA named hostel after Dr. Matthew Opoku Prem. He wants to be vice president of the Republic. Helen, what do you have? I've got the daybreak newspaper. The front page has this to say. Times board chair under fire over editor's illegal stay. Also, NDC plot to use vigilante group on election day exposed. And uh, Nana B is also pictured here on the front page. 2024 elections. Police assure media safety. IGP is also pictured here. And Ghana deserves a president like my husband, Samira Baumia. Ah, okay. Hajia is pictured here, oh. and there's a beautiful picture to go along oh, yeah. with a very nice that photo. 
Was she the person who said that Dr. Bamiyo is the economic waste kid? Yes, there's a picture. You see, she know. has her arms stretched out. It's a very popular ah, picture. My husband is an economic I waste see, kid. Yeah. 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 But it's nice to see her at least coming back into the limelight. I think for a while she had gone silent a bit. So. Yeah, but she's been the, on the campaign trail she told heavy. Us earlier is and what we are experiencing now. She cannot come back to be giving us endorsement. She no. what, what, what but she's back, an though. Uh, she's uh, back saying that now that the digitalization <laughs> drive is was... ongoing. That's mm. what she's telling us mm-hmm. now, that we are we are in the digital realm that's and not, like the rest what, of the that's world. That's not what she promised us. She what? promised us that our economy was going to be in the best of The things. NPP now wants to ask Ghanaians who keep calling on mm. Dr. Baumia to speak about the economy, mm. whether or not... Uh, you don't see the connection between a digital agenda mm-hmm. and the economy. That's what I'm hearing, is that you are continuously asking, mm. speak about the economy, speak about the Do you not see that these digital drives... You mean the apps. The apps and so on and so apps. forth. Are Fix my pothole, for going example. towards mm. the economy or helping the economy. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to understand, though. Mm-hmm. Do we do what's important or what is nice? Mm. Hey, Good crack, hey, crack. <laughs> because, because if you listen to uh-huh. you know the campaign that was waged by um Hajja Sabera Baumia yeah. in favor of Dr. Baumia then says, Look, my husband has worked at the Bank of Ghana, he's mm. an economic waste kid, he understands the economy better than anybody. Mm. I mean, our economy is in tatters. Forget about Russia, Ukraine, and COVID. Mm-hmm. I mean, proud to that we were on an extended IMF program. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's and then right. as soon as we left the IMF, we went back to the IMF, in spite of the Joshua and Caleb economy that we were told we're running. We were called Sambalat and Tobias. They say yes. So now, Unbelievers. so now, Hajia needs to be telling us that oh, mm. we told you we we're going to do A, B, C, D. We have not been able to do it. We are sorry, but give us another chance to gloss over it, to go straight to endorsing again. Mm. Uh, it doesn't work. If you're a businessman mm. and your capital is a thousand dollars. And now your capital really cannot do what it used to do. No, now the capital is five hundred dollars because of inflation and the rest. And city depreciation. How do you encourage me to vote for? <laughs> I mean, without even being a business person, when I just look at my standard yeah. of living, mm. and I moved back home, back to Accra in twenty nineteen, mm. uh, my bank account has only dwindled. <laughs> That, that that is my reality in the I last five years at least <laughs> everything every <laughs> currency that i managed to marshal and i mean for me it's a painful mm. it's a painful painful mm. something i gathered my everything i sold my car mm. i quit my job i wanted to take a leap of faith and i moved back home and yeah. when i take stock of the last five years as a person the what i've learned mm-hmm. i've learned so much you have gone through it <laughs> i've gone through it. i've learned so much and yeah. you would think that in another jurisdiction mm-hmm. the fact that i'm learning growing should mean that my 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 economic situation it's should, should also yeah. improve, <laughs> but I am improving as a as an individual. My finances, but, however, are going in the opposite direction. What would encourage me to continue? Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> good. What do you have? <laughs> It's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> the New Republic revealing the Blair lines. Mm-hmm. Tortoise Akufuado finally completes flower pot flyover mm. after eight years, whilst Mahama was to complete it in two years. What a headline. Mm. So very, you have to read the, long, you have to read the story again. <laughs> Is that how Hassan Suhini quoted there? Ah, it's like the... No, I think it's their own headline. Mm. I see. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Mm. Mm. Achim Chiefs ditch Baumia and rally behind JM. Mm-hmm. Another EC NPP coalition unmarked. Mm-hmm. Party executives enrolled as presiding and polling station officers in Ashanti region. Right. After being left off the hook in Ayawasu massacre, butcher commander... Mm-hmm. More mayhem, right? Uh, is it the same one that uh, <laughs> was accused in the recent press conference by the NPP, NDC? Mm. Sounds like it. Yeah, it's the one. Okay, finally, mm-hmm. six to zero. Welcome, collect. Welcome back to Ghana. From the color, the color experience. Did you add some? Yes. Oshiami. I'm not a happy man this morning. Ah. What's his word? Yeah, let me read the you, you let, Let's hear from Michael, then we'll address your concerns okay. because you came here too morose. Thank you. <laughs> the morose sounds like an insult. <laughs> 
a description. <laughs> the anchor <laughs> revealing the truth. NDC and PP accuse each other of plotting mayhem. Exactly 16 days to December 7th polls. Just spawn rise to hit market soon. That's nice. Mm. Minister denies involvement in Moshosho rice scandal. Herbert Krapa elevated to substantive energy minister. Akachi S-H-T-S. <laughs> oh, let me read it. Isn't it? It's okay. Go ahead. Wins inter-school carpentry competition. Mm. Was he acting? Was Herbert acting? He was minister of state at the energy Charlie, ministry. No, the confusion... <laughs> Please, please, please. Will Haven't you seen a coach release his best players in the 11th hour because they want to score a golden uh, goal? Please, that's what we are trying to do. Allow the 89th minute. But that's what say they are trying to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, it doesn't matter. That's what you are trying to do. Uh, I beg you. They. <laughs> President uh, Nana Dudanko Kufuado yesterday sworn a, swore in five new ambassadors at the Jubilee House in Accra. The new envoys, all seasoned diplomats, including Mrs. Matilda Aku Alomatu Osei Ajiman, ambassador Aku, to. I thought you were ending with Banase. No, ambassador <laughs> to Austria, <laughs> Austria Ms. Vivian Kafui Ekia Asempapa, ambassador to Senegal, Mrs. Regina Apia, son, ambassador to Spain. Mr. Mark Arius uh, Akanbenab Akanbong, okay, um, his ambassador to Iran, and Dr. Senalo Kwabla Yawuli. Uh, Yawuli is uh, the ambassador to Sierra Leone. So these are diplomats. Where is Silviano? They, they are not politics. Denmark, please. Denmark. Yes, ma'am. So they are bringing back Silviano. I heard Denmark in that list. And I... Oh, there's no Denmark. Uh, I have not seen Denmark. There's Austria, mm-hmm. there's Senegal, there's Spain, there's Iran, and Sierra Leone. I think my head is here in terms mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, on the Herbert Krapa bit, is you know Iran that... Iran that worried you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that uh, some of the, uh, the Chamber of IPPs has announced that if by Friday payments are not made, Monday three other uh, IPPs will shut down. But we, we owe plenty money away. Fine. And so maybe that's why we need Herbert Kappa, the energy whiskey at this point. Wait, on Monday, more IPPs yeah. are threatening to... That's what I'm talking about. They're What's shutting the down connection? my money. Can, can't he do that in the position that he is? Okay. I, 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 I honestly don't know. I think that <laughs> he's been energy minister <laughs> yes. all this while. Yes. So so it wasn't energy minister. It was, was minister, minister of state. state at uh, the, uh, at because the because every role and it's specific. No, it wasn't energy minister. Is, okay. it? Let me let no, me. No, he had been elevated. What was this? He was deputy. He, he was started deputy. off as deputy. Yeah. He went to on ECG. To, to ECG. Yes. Then came back to when Napo yes. eventually yes. moved. Yes. He was brought back as minister. Right. But, but he wasn't minister. He was minister of state something. something. You know, the minister job be that. President Ekufuado, but he wasn't the minister of it. What is the minister of state doing? What so upon this on Monday, whether a state bedroom or would the IPP is close or don't, not close. That is why he has been elevated to the minister to say that. And then by Monday, so we don't have money anything. to pay. So I don't know. wait, as minister of state, mm-hmm. he doesn't have power enough to salvage the situation. Maybe. Remember that they are, there's the, for instance, the finance ministry. There is, uh, what's the name of the lady? Her name keeps escaping. Abna. Abna is ah, minister of state. Oh, party. Today I have not eaten. Maybe that's why. Ah. <laughs> Abna is minister of state <laughs> yes. uh, for the finance ministry. But yes. then there's a substantive minister. So I'm sure yes. they all have their rules no, and their capacity. No, so normally you would have, you would have, especially we've seen that a lot under Akufuado, where you would have a minister deputy, you have a minister of state at the presidency. And the minister and without have, portfolio. Yes. Okay. So I don't understand. I've never on. understood that. Look, at, listen to that story. It says President Kufado has elevated the Minister of State at the Energy Ministry, Herbert Krapa, as the substantive minister effective Tuesday, November 19, 2024. So it means that the Minister of State that was is yesterday. Yes, day is, before. is is under the minister proper chairman in terms of ranking that's the way they explain no it, they make but that's why it's, it's elevated it, 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 from minister of state at the energy ministry to the substantive had, minister a conversation about this thing too before where you have uh, sector ministers and mm-hmm. you have ministers of state at the presidency yeah. mm-hmm. without but portfolio without portfolio <laughs> and, and a number of the times when you hear that the yeah. person really is not assigned to any specific yeah. ministry yeah. the person is just at the seat of government at the behest of the president mm-hmm. follow back well that sounds some way <laughs> <laughs> So the person probably would be, okay, go to this ministry, go and do this, or mm. I am uh, the, the 
de, 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 delegating you right. mm -hmm. or share me. Minister, go and Buterich represent Harry. me at this place <laughs> exactly. Go and read my speech for read, me. So that is what you normally would see. So that explains but, it. And now he's the substantive minister. Now no, he's not he there. He was working as energy minister. He wasn't. So who was in charge of the energy ministry? So, that, so I so understand that Napoleon left, when Napoleon left, that is when he was put in there as minister of state. So he had a supervisory role, but now he's the substantive. Charlie. But why do we need somebody if they say we should make our own timetable? We should also go and power, generate our own power, turn Charlie, our own days. The confusion is too much. <laughs> Men and women, the desperate NPP realizing.